Chibi the Podcast, presented by Just Chibi Productions. Hi there. I'm your host, Fondue. I'm Chibi. In this week's episode, we learn about Italian cheese Ooh. and Italian cheese stuffed dishes. Yum. We're talking ravioli, Ooh. manicotti, fagatini, Whoa. tortellini, and cannoli. Ooh. We're going to talk a little bit about Italian fondue, really? and we're going to find out if Olive Garden sells something spectacular. I can't wait. And of course, no episode would be complete without our very cheesy joke. Yes. Stay tuned for episode 104 for Maggio on just... Cheesy, the podcast. According to Google, the Italian word for cheese is formaggio mm-hmm. or cacio. Sure. Cacio is used in central and southern Italy. Mm. Formaggio is used in the remainder of the world. Whoa. But in Italy, there's something called formaggio di fossa. Really? According to Wikipedia, This cheese is made with sheep or cow's milk or a mixture of the two. Mm. It matures around 30 days, and then it's placed in a fossa, or a pit dug in the ground. They line the pit with straw. They burn the straw in order to remove moisture and sterilize the space. Cheese is wrapped in cloth bags, placed in the pit, and then the cheese matures for an additional 80 to 100 days. The pit limits oxygen. It enables a process of anaerobic fermentation. And after being removed from the pit, it's allowed to ripen for an additional three months. And this technique goes back all the way to the 15th century. Holy cow. According to formaggiocheese.com, there's actually a cheese called Formaggio. This is a brand name. It's a fresh mozzarella manufacturer. Mm. But today when we're talking about Formaggio, we're talking about plain old cheese. Yeah. I became fascinated with foods that were stuffed with cheese. Me too. And it appears that there are quite a few different Italian dishes that are actually stuffed with cheese. Really? According to PubblicoItalianEatery.com, the earliest mention of ravioli goes back all the way to the 14th century in manuscripts. Holy cow. The word ravioli means to wrap. Ravioli is a dish that has an inside filling enveloped in a thin pasta shell. Whoa. The pasta is typically square, but it can come in other shapes. Ooh. Usually, it's stuffed with things like meat, seafood, vegetables, and of course, cheese. Oh, yeah. And back in the 14th century, these first dishes were served in broth. And then eventually, around the 16th century, we see that it started to be cooked with tomatoes or tomato sauce. Whoa. And of course, canned ravioli was pioneered by Chef Boyardee in the 1930s. Oh, chef. Manicotti is a type of Italian pasta made from a thin sheet of pasta dough. Ooh. According to BenedettoCambridge.com, Manicotti can include things like vegetables, meat, cheese? and of course, cheese. Yay. It says here it was likely created as a way to use up leftover pasta dough. Oh. It also says here that manicotti is similar to cannelloni, which first arrived in Catalonia in the late 18th century. Whoa. Typically, the dish is made with tube-shaped shells okay. with a mixture of ricotta, mozzarella, and Parmesan cheeses, Yummy. and sometimes spinach and other vegetables. Ooh. Then the shells are covered with tomato or meat sauce and baked. Yum. Fagatini is Italian for little bundles. Aww. The pasta is usually filled with vegetables, carrots, green beans, ricotta, onion, and olive oil. Ooh, yum. It's made by cutting sheets of pasta dough into squares, okay. placing the filling on the square, and folding the corners to meet in a point. Ooh. Tortellini is an Italian pasta with filling. Ooh. According to Denicola's ItalianDining.com, tortellini comes from Emilia in northern Italy. Whoa. It's been a favorite since the 17th century. Holy cow. And each one of these little tortellinis is made by hand. Whoa. Tortellini is stuffed with ricotta cheese. Ooh. Sometimes cured meats may also be part of the stuffing. Oh, wow. The dish is typically served with a simple sage and butter sauce, Ooh. and some people enjoy it with a light cream sauce. Some people also enjoy it with a meat sauce and melted cheese. Yum. Tortellini is not a sponsor. No. Nope. But if it was, the ad would go right here. Have you ever wanted to listen to the web? Yeah. Well, Newsly makes that possible. They do? They're an all-in-one audio super app for iOS and Android. Super app. You can listen to trending articles on the web on topics that you choose 
and get them read to you in a natural human voice. What kind of topics? Sports, cheese, tech, business, cheese, science, cheese. I'm sure there's even cheese. Yay! They even have an entire section for podcasts. Are we there? Of course we are. Ooh. It's one of my new favorite podcast apps. They even have digital radio. Holy just go to www.newsly.me to download it free Whoa. or use the link in the description. If you use the promo code CHEESY, Cheesy. that'll get you one month free premium subscription. Yay, Newsly. Now, back to the podcast. In the first half of the episode, we talked all about savory dishes. Yep. But did you know there is a dessert? Mm. It's called cannoli. Mm -hmm. A cannoli is a fried tube-shaped shell Yum. with sweet, creamy cheese filling. Oh. According to BastaPastaMD.com, <laughs> cannoli originated in the Sicilian city of Palermo. Really? According to the article, it is believed that cannoli's filling originated with... Oh, no. I'm so sorry. Huh. Sirocans? Sure. An ancient Arabic people when they brought sugarcane to the region. Okay. It even says here that cannoli was once referred to by the Sicilians as capelli de turchi, which was Turkish hat. Cannoli was made specifically for the carnival, which was a festive season before Lent, mm. which they say is very similar to Mardi Gras. Oh. When the Italians immigrated to the United States during the 1900s, some original cannoli ingredients were changed due to availability. Ooh. Traditionally, ricotta is the filling, okay. but mascarpone is sometimes used as a substitute. Yummy. They say the cheese is typically sweetened with sugar Ooh. and flavored with vanilla, honey, or a small amount of cinnamon. Mm -hmm. I say fill it with whatever you want. You yep. can't go wrong with a cannoli. Yeah. When you talk about fondue, you typically think of Switzerland. Yeah. But the Italians have something called fonduta. Ooh. According to formaggiokitchen.wordpress.com, fonduta incorporates fontina, valdosta, and butter, and eggs, and white truffles. <laughs> they say here it's a bit richer than the Swiss and French counterpart. Yeah. And instead of being served in a pot, fonduta is whipped and poured over each person's plate, Whoa. a plate of potatoes, polenta, or rice. Yum. It's time for my favorite segment. This week in cheese. Have you ever been to the Italian restaurant Olive Garden? Ah, uh, yeah. If you have, you know this very moment. Ooh. When your food comes to the table yep. and the waiter or waitress comes over and offers up their delicious Parmesan cheese, Ooh, yeah. they get out the grater yeah. and they say... Say when. when. Well, in fact, you wait and wait and wait and let that Parmesan pile up in heaps on top of your dish. Yeah. But did you know that you can actually take the cheese grater home? What? That's right. According to today.com, they reference a TikTok video that went viral. Mm. In the video, Bo Jernis went to Olive Garden for her birthday and she asked if they sold the cheese grater. Mm. And of course they said they do. Mm. In another TikTok, a customer was skeptical that they could actually buy the cheese grater at Olive Garden. Yeah. He went up to the manager and said, cheese grater. The manager <laughs> looked at him and said, give me one minute, and they sold him the cheese grater. Holy cow. Not only that, he said, they gave him cheese to try. Whoa. In the article, today.com talked to an Olive Garden spokesperson. Okay. They said, and I quote, the ability to purchase the cheese grater varies by restaurant and availability. Of course. The spokesperson was also asked if customers can purchase other things like glassware and paintings. Whoa. They did not confirm individual items for sale, <laughs> but said select items are available to purchase in restaurant depending on availability. I'm ready for a joke, fondue. Okay. Why did cheese break up with tomato sauce? I don't know. Why? It wanted to be provolone for a while. <laughs> get it? Provolone? Oh, I get it. It was dorky. Oh, it sure was dorky yeah. and a little bit cheesy. Thanks for listening to Just Cheesy, the podcast, episode 104 for Maggio. Thank you. Can you please visit us on please. TikTok and YouTube? Please. And if you do, would you please review us? Yeah. And give us some likes and subscribe. Yeah, thumbs up. That would be awesome. Thanks, Cheesy, everybody.